Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review Percy Jackson Sea of Monsters. Percy Jackson 2 Sea of Monsters stars Logan Lerman, Alexandra Daddario, Douglas Smith, Brandon T. Jackson, Levin Rambin, Nathan Fillion, Stanley Tucci, and a few more. Alright, so Percy Jackson 2 Sea of Monsters is about Percy and his friends, including his added half-brother, who is a cyclops, they go on this quest to find the mythical golden fleece while trying to stop an ancient evil from rising. So I'm going to be honest, I like the first Percy Jackson. I thought it was a fun film. How does the sequel go? The adventure in the sequel is really fun. I really enjoyed the adventure. It was really entertaining. I was never bored watching the adventure in the sequel. Film-wise, though, it was not good. This sequel, other than the fact that the adventure is a lot of fun, the sequel overall, in terms of the writing, the execution, and a lot of things it, it suffers from, is just not very good. It's an okay sequel, but it's definitely not as good as the original. And I felt like if Chris Columbus directed the sequel, it could have been just as good as the original film. The storytelling is very mediocre. It is just very choppy. It felt kind of jumbled altogether. Didn't quite know what it was trying to do. There's acting that's good and there's other acting that's really not good. Logan Lerman, he's definitely one of the most enjoyable parts of this sequel just like in the original. I really enjoy him as Percy Jackson. I think he fits the role of Percy Jackson very well. Alexandra Daddario, who is a very beautiful actress. Shirt, too sexy for my shirt, so sexy it hurts. She did a very good job here, and Brandon T. Jackson, he's enjoyable here. And then we get into Percy's half brother. He was actually one of my problems with the film. Not my biggest problem, but he's one of them. I thought the addition of Percy Jackson having this half brother was unnecessary, especially to add him on the adventure with Percy and his friends. Like, I would have been okay with seeing the half-brother and the beginning of the movie and the ending of the movie, but to have him go along the adventure with the guys, it, he really didn't add anything. The opening scene to this film is so shitty. It is very laughable at how bad the opening scene was. First of all, they rushed through the beginning with Logan Lerman's very rushed narration through things. This thing happens and I'm not gonna lie, I actually laughed at the beginning because man, that just started off shitty and then right at that moment, that's when I knew, oh boy, I'm already disappointed. The movie started and I was already disappointed in the sequel, which was sad. But the rest of the movie, after that opening scene, was, you know, it's okay. The adventure was fun, but the movie overall, because of its weak script, it just didn't add a whole lot of things. The editing in this film feels so choppy. The way it cuts to another scene and then to another scene, and even some of the camera angles in the film, they just felt choppy and jumbled and lazy, and... The director, Thor, he wasn't really quite sure what to do, I could tell, like, during the action pieces. Visual effects in this film, uh, they were not good. Some were decent, others were pretty bad. Like, on the creatures, the visuals looked pretty good. You know, they looked decent. They don't look great or groundbreaking, but what, on the creatures, you know... It looked pretty good overall, except for this mechanical bull because near the beginning there was this action piece where Percy has to face off this golden mechanical bull and man, it was just so noticeable on how computerized that mechanical bull was and 
I, I don't mind CGI in films. I actually really enjoy CGI in films as well as I really enjoy practical effects. But that CGI shot when Percy throws the knife inside that gold mechanical bull and it explodes. Oh my gosh, the CGI in that shot was horrendous. Also, we get a very crappy villain in this sequel. My biggest problem is definitely the villain. The actor who plays the villain was just stiff. He was pretty much emotionless. Like he had no emotion, no happiness, no sadness. This was him the whole time. Alright, Percy Jackson. It's time to get you and your friends now. Oh, and look at the mythy Greece god, Percy. You can't stop me forever. And I know people are going to ask, 22 Tiger Dude, how is Nathan Fillion? Oh my gosh, I love Nathan Fillion. You gotta tell me, 22 Tiger Dude. You gotta tell me, you gotta tell me. Well, my friends, I'm going to tell you this. Nathan Fillion, he is good. Except, he's only in one scene. But, for the one scene he had for the sequel, I say he did a good job, he was enjoyable, I actually really enjoyed this character, and I, it actually made me wish he had more than one scene because his character, just for one scene only, was actually really enjoyable, one of the best parts of the film, and one of the best parts of this film is only in one scene. Percy Jackson's Sea of Monsters is disappointing. The adventure is a lot of fun. There's some pretty good visuals, some crappy visuals. Some of the acting is not very good. Uh, the half brother was an unnecessary addition to the sequel. Oh, the ending. Wow, talk about a very crappy ending. The ending was crappy too. The editing was very choppy. The script was very, very weak. Even the finale felt rushed. I like the original, but. I just didn't like the sequel that much. Maybe some of you will like the sequel, you know, I think teens will enjoy it. I don't know about adults though, maybe adults will watch this thing. Uh, I don't mind this. Overall, it's okay. It's not a terrible film, but it's definitely not the solid film I wanted. And it's just not as good as the original. In my humble opinion, I'm going to give Percy Jackson... Sea of Monsters, 2 out of 4 stars. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude, don't forget that I will always have TAGA POWER!